Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Murli from Teaching for Good, and welcome back to the 100 Days of Full Stack App Challenge. If you are just getting started, please make sure to watch the introductory video and review the welcome page, followed by the first week sprint plan as well. And today is day one of the challenge, and we are in the first weekly sprint as well. As I promised that I will be building a SaaS product as part of this challenge and walk you through the process using that as a case study. So let's go ahead and review day one of the challenge in the context of that case study. Go ahead, open sprint one on day one. This is the first day of the sprint and we will be looking for discovering the problem if this is a problem that is not familiar to you, as well as defining what we would like to solve as part of this challenge. For the first question in the discovery is to define the key problem that we would like to solve. And for this example, as I mentioned, for the software as a service product I was referring to, we'll be looking at a service that we'd like to build in the context of accessibility. Do you know about 1 billion people or about 15% of the world population live with some form of disability? And specifically in the US, close to 26% or 61 million adults live with some form of disability. And about 96% of the top 1 million websites tested have some kind of accessibility issues. I know this is pretty much, it's 96% is almost every other website, every website. And by law, if the business is open to public, then it is also legally required to be accessible to people with disabilities. So that's a key problem. And this is massive, 96% of the top 1 million websites that were tested have accessibility issues. So that's a big problem area. Anything that we can help, anything that we can come up with as a solution um, in any of the areas to help solve this issue will go a long way. And who will be the primary user for this product or service? Like we discussed earlier, there may be lots of users and lots of use cases, but our focus is just on one primary user that will be using our product or service. So in this case, this will be a website owner or somebody that owns or uh, operates a website. Doesn't matter whether they're hosting it themselves or they're using a third party service or relying on another software as a service product to be uh, to host their application or web website. Uh, doesn't matter whether it's a blog, news sites, e-commerce sites, all kinds of shopping, social media sites, or web applications as well, but pretty much anything that is accessible on the web via web browser, we can consider this as the, as the uh, area for us to provide solution. And of course, as I mentioned, there will be lots of secondary users too, uh, which is not our focus for the moment. I just mentioned it in the document, but we're just focusing on that website owner or whoever owns it and or operates that website for business. Uh, let us leave out any kind of sites for hobbies at the moment. Um, we'll just focus on the business sites to start with and then consider about everything else later on. And now that we defined the size and the context of the problem and the, the primary user that we will be focusing on, let us look at what will that 
future state look like or what is the key use case that we are going to solve. And that will be for that website owner to quickly check if the website they're running or managing is actually in fact accessible to people with disabilities anytime they want to check it. And also keep tabs on it at a regular basis so that they're not only considering that as just a one-time uh, job that the website is built for accessibility, but also need to maintain it as other upgrades and other changes are added to the site. So a website owner should be able to check if their website is accessible and they should be able to do so on a regular basis as well. And our solution is going to help run variety of automation checks and provide a scorecard that is easier to understand and is also actionable so that the teams can work on this information to fix those issues to make the application or website accessible. And we would like to make sure that no technical knowledge is required to use the solution. So because we mentioned our primary user is a business owner, we want to make sure that a business owner understands whether their website is accessible or not. That's why we wanted to use a scorecard, which is much easier for them to understand, but it will have enough details to be able to give in to a development team, for instance, to be able to fix those issues. And of course, it's the right thing to do. And moreover, as I said, if the business is open to public, then there will be enforcement actions and legal actions against that website if it is not compliant or accessible. So it will help to avoid those enforcement and legal actions as well. I also included a few links as part of this discovery process that we found out that will help to set the context and identify the problem that we would like to solve. And please do not worry if this is not clear enough or you are not able to find that problem statement in a very clear way and you're not 100% sure exactly how that how that is that you would like to solve the problem. It's perfectly fine. Just have that rough idea, jot down a couple of lines and we are good to go to the next section. So that's all for day one in the context of the SaaS product that I will be working on. Bye for now and see you in the next video for day two and we will explore this SaaS product and find out if there are any existing solutions are out there in the marketplace. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.